So question five from paper two of the 2019 National Five, just two marks here, three dimensional coordinates. You can see that with the X, the Y and the Z axis. You're given this diagram, I've produced a sketchier one here, just a quick sketch. Now, what does it say? You've got a cone and it's what's known as a right cone in that the apex is directly above the center of the base. So it's not squint and off to one side. It's not oblique as it's known. Well, it gives you its dimensions. The diameter is six and the height is eight. That being the case, and also the fact that that circular base is tucked up against those two axes, so those axes are tangents to it, what are the coordinates of A and B? Well, if the diameter is 6, the radius is 3. And of course, if that's a tangent, then that line must be the radius away from the centre. So this, and it'll be the same distance from the y-axis, that distance is 3, that distance is 3, and that distance is 8. But it's only asking for A. So A is going to be 3 along, but you're not going back at all, and you're not going up at all, so it's just 3, 0, 0. It's B when you're going to be going all the way through. It's going to be 3 along, then 3 back, and then 8 up. Not a lot to that question. Number six, solve this quadratic equation. Now, as soon as it says to one decimal place, you know it's not good to factorize, you'll be using the formula. So it's just a case of copy the formula for the front, put in the figures and press the buttons. Well, when you look up the formula, it'll go negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over, watch it goes under both of them, all over 2a. Now you can write down those if you like. a is the coefficient of x squared, that'll be 3. b is the coefficient of x, that'll be 9. c is the constant at the end, also known as the absolute coefficient, that's a negative 2, so watch out for that. Popping them in there, although I'm just going to look back at this again when I do it. Negative b, so that's negative 9 b squared, so that's 9 squared, minus 4 times, and watch the signs here, 3 times, and that's a negative 2, all over 2 times 3. Now the next line you just read negative 9 plus or minus something over 6. You just want to know what's the value of this discriminant in here, what does that come to? Now you could just type that into your calculator as well, calculator paper, but what have you got? You've got 81, and with the two negatives there, it'll be plus, and 12 twos are 24, so that's 105. Whereupon you get the two answers. There'll be negative 9, now I'm going to do this subtract first, just so I get the lower one first. So I've got them in order, upon 6, and the other one's going to be negative 9 plus 105 all over 6. Work them out in any order you like. So you type it into your calculator, make sure it looks exactly the way it does there, press equals, then you have to press equals again because of course it keeps it exact and it looks as if it's done nothing. Press it again and you've got this, negative 3.207 and so on. To do this one, you just go back and change that minus to a plus. And you press the button again. And you press the button again, and it goes to 0 0.2078 and so on, but I'm just going to stop there. Now, you only want the answer to one decimal place, so x equals, in this case, negative just 3.2, and in this case, 0 0.2.